Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 10 US carrier, the Midway. This match is on the map Hotspot, which has nice trees. And uh, they start out by going towards C and see that uh, it's being kept by the only destroyer they have. So I immediately do a torpedo bomber drop. Maybe they will be hit, able to hit, but I think I messed up. And yeah, I messed up. The ship managed to hit them before the torpedoes activated. But I imagine that the Shimakaze is gonna stay in this smoke cloud, so I'll just drop from the side. And at this point it's too late. Bye! Tier 10 destroyer killed. First blood and devastating strike. Well, now it's time to use my dive bombers. Actually, I I, I have found out that dive bombers and US carries are really, really bad. I don't know why, but they they are slow and they are... For some reason, they seem to not set things on fire as much, even when they get a lot of hits. At least not as often as uh, Japanese carriers, but it might have to do with something where the bombs drop. I don't know. I tried to use my uh, fighters to hold enemies off a little bit. Oh yeah, in this match uh, both teams have two carriers. The enemy is uh, Hakuryo and uh, Lexington. I'm a Midway and a Lexington. I would like to drop on this Amagi, if possible. That the Moy or that North Carolina. The Des Moines might be annoying though. Already lost one. Die bomber to the Des Moines. We'll just do an automatic drop for now. And uh, swap it for a uh, manual. Wow, zero hit. What? Did it, did it activate the. Uh, I mean, did uh, panic activate or something? Oh well, whatever. I'll try to follow up, but look! I lost four of the. No. Okay, I lost all seven of the planes before they dropped to Anamagis and the North Carolina's anti air. It's just odd. Like, torpedo bombers are almost 30 knots faster than uh, dive bombers. On the midway. Anyways, I'll take my torpedo bombers over here to this Amagi to uh, have a bit of a better time because this guy is alone, so I should be able to hit him. I'll also you know, keep my um, fighters around uh, Lexington because uh, Lexington is a good place to fight because uh, Lexington has strong anti air and. Uh, she is one of the likely targets, and if it's not the Lexington, then I'll just bring them to me. Okay, actually, maybe this other Amagi is a good target because this Amagi that's forward is being attacked by enemies at the moment, anyway. Well, I guess I'm engaging their fighters. Those are Lexington fighters. But. Holding the torpedo bombers off at the moment is a bit more important. Because these are two Amagis and uh, I'm using torpedo bombers, I'm not that afraid that uh, they will take a massive amount of damage from these uh, Amagis. And I'm doing a drop. Let's see how it goes. Damn, I messed up pretty much, pretty hard. Only managed five hits. Oh well, whatever. I'll get better over time, hopefully. It seems that the enemy wants to bring dive bombers over to me. There's a dive bomber coming, visible on the middle of the screen. But the midway has pretty strong anti air, and uh, I'm not very afraid of those. On top of that, I have fighters up in a moment. It seems he brought two dive bombers first. He'll try to set me on fire, I will immediately repair that. And then he will try to come again to set me on fire again, but at that point my fighters will be up and it will only be one group. Okay, repair. 
repair done and I only took uh, 2000 damage. Okay, let's follow up with TIE Bombers on the Yamagi that I attacked first. Wow. This fighter ruined the first drop by making it uh, panic and almost ruined the second one too. First one had zero hits. Oh, never mind. Second one had zero hits too because the same fighter managed to panic the second one too. And the reason why it's possible to do that is because the dive bombers are super slow. They are like Lexington speeds of ships. And it seems those uh, dive bombers want to come and finish off the midway now. But, you know. I have fighters in the air and it's just not gonna do anything. Even if I let them drop, I have repair already available anyway. So it, so that guy definitely messed up. I need to send my ship back though, because there's too few ships on this side to keep all the enemies off. Okay, my fighters have all, about half their ammunition left, maybe a bit more. I'll take them to kill some enemy planes and then come back to cycle. I'll move my torpedo bombers to the right side. Hopefully I'll be able to dodge the enemy fighters. With my torpedo bombers that is. Okay, I'm going to engage these fighters. These are Lexington fighters over a Yamato in a battle. Okay. I killed two planes, I lost two planes, I lost the third plane. Killed the third plane. And, um, what the hell? My fighters used up half their ammunition and they killed three out of the six planes they were attacking within the anti-air of Ayamato. What the hell? Okay, I understand that Yamato did attack some of the other ships for a while, but still, I expected way better. Okay, time to drop on the Sal. I imagine that she is going to use her ability, but I'll drop anyway, because I'm getting really close and this is a US carrier, so even a spread, uh, even a panicked spread isn't that big. Look, I got half her HP with three hits. Okay, not all, not exactly half, but almost. She should, she shouldn't have turned that way, because this is a US carrier, not a Japanese one. Okay, uh, it seems that uh, Lexington wants to ram me. I will start running the fuck away because I don't want to get rammed at the moment because there are planes incoming. Well, I'll, because the Zao fell back, I'll use my die bombers to try to set this Yamato on fire. Okay, the Lexington rammed me. He's still ramming me. He's still ramming me. He's still ramming me. He's still ramming me. And it's not something I can do anything about, it's only something he can do something about. Okay, I got a fire, hopefully the Yamato repaired and I can drop again. By the way, he is still ramming me. He is still ramming me. What the hell, Lexington? the hell are you doing? I could understand for a while, but this has gone on quite a bit. All you had to do was press S key to not keep ramming me. At this point I'm getting a bit scared because those planes might come. So I essentially have to tell him to stop very aggressively because look at the map 
Look at where those fighters or planes are. There are not. There's nothing in between. Those might be coming for us. And if we keep ramming each other or standing still, we might just die. Okay, good. He stopped. Awesome. I don't really care about being sorry. I just don't want that thing to happen. Okay, um, torpedo bombers on the Yamato. Never mind. I'll pull back, go from the outside, and drop again. Oh my god, those planes actually are coming for us. Um, I'll start turning into them now and slow down. Maybe that'll help me avoid some of those hits. Oh, Yamato's turning away. Awesome. I, don't, I can do a decent drop here. I don't repair because I imagine I'm gonna get hit by quite a few more planes. Okay, I think I can repair soon. Oh my god, he dropped so far away. But hope, oh my god, this repair only lasts 5 seconds, really? I think I'm gonna get flooded again. And this Yamato survived with 200 HP. I screwed my die bombers up. And of course Tuka kill steals it. I'm grumbling right now. Because I got flooded as well. Because that one torpedo flooded me. God damn it. Luckily, they struck me and the Lexington both. If they had focused on one target, for instance me, they would have sank me. And I think we might have lost the game. Because that would have put us equal on equal points and they would have had a carry advantage. Quite a big one even. But luckily they didn't do that. But still... This is part of the reason why I didn't want to be near this island, or in that kind of a situation. Luckily, we managed to disentangle each other, or disentangle ourselves from each other before the planes came in. If they had, then we might have. Okay, both wouldn't have sank, but one of us would have sank and the other one would have taken quite a bit of damage as well. Luckily that didn't happen, and I'll try to hit this North Carolina, although it's a bad angle for dive bombers, I can't really pull back and go back again. And I still hit, awesome. And I think she is gonna die and then the game ends in a moment. Well, I'm sorry for being uh, very aggressive to you, Lexington, but... I had to be, because I definitely needed you to back off. I was afraid of those planes. But you did, so everything is alright. I don't think I would have actually sank him. I don't I don't want to, like, team kill. I would have just been really mad. Anyways, 500k and 7400 experience. Good enough, I guess. Almost 2500 base experience. And the Lexington actually did really well with his anti-air stuff. 37 plane kills, more than me. And I did 140k damage. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and thanks for watching.